So I have been tinkering around with a fresh custom ROM on my Samsung Galaxy S5 lately. I have checked out quite a few ROMs for this device in the past. But today we are diving into Dot OS based on Android 9. I have got to say, I used to be a huge fan of Dot OS, but lately there haven't been any new builds rolling out for any devices. But anyway, let's take a deep dive into this ROM and see what Dot OS has in store for us. So, although I have already reviewed Android 14 and Android 11 based ROM for this device, Android 11 based ROM, the, the CR Droid ROM, was a quite good ROM and Android 14 based ROM also quite good ROM but there was no GF support for that one. This ROM doesn't come with GFs but you can flash GFs too. This ROM has few bugs here and there too. So we're going to check out this ROM and if you are new here or if you have one Samsung Galaxy S5 you can check out my old videos too so that if you really into custom ROMs or anything like that if you really want to flash you can choose the best one for you so the ROM is booted up as you can see here and if we go to setting and about phone so this ROM is for Snapdragon variant only so if you have an Exynos variant of Samsung Galaxy S5 don't flash the ROM it might break your phone even if you you will not be able to recover it sometime so don't do that so as you can see here android 9 dot west v3.0 official this is official build of it and the build date is as you can see here is from this uh, march 26 and 2019 so it's about four years it doesn't matter actually for this device we are getting custom roms that's actually uh, i think is a good thing now going with this device, as you can see, the setting layout is pretty beautiful. Dot OS is, is actually really good ROM and pretty like uh, stable and does come with features. So as you can see here, we have network and internet section. So let me connect to my Wi-Fi and it does work. So phone calls and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, those are working perfectly fine. You will not have any kind of issue. As for me, I haven't faced any kind of issue with these things yet after using 2-3 days now. So I haven't faced any issue. Even NFC also working. So if you use NFC, although I don't really use NFC on any of my devices. But anyway, the NFC is here and it's working. If I go to settings section, we have apps and notification. It doesn't matter any. And if you go to dot extra, we have few features. We can customize our UI. So I have already changed like the clock position and also changed the battery icon. So if you want to change those things, you can do it. And if you go to system section, we have buttons. So there is no full screen gesture support for this ROM. But if you want to get more from your soft buttons, there are a few options here. You can like trigger something with single tap long press and double tap actions so it's up to you if you want those things you can do that too so those are also available and also general tweak if you want three finger screenshot that's also available so as you can see it's working perfectly fine that's quite good and if we go back and dot was extra we have in the lock screen system we have lock screen ui as you can see here a lot of features available when you charge your device it will show your and here how much charge it's taking those things will it will show and also it will show the estimated charging time so those will it will show and also we have recent so you can change the recent the way you want so a lot of things going on also if you go to status bar so there are a few things here as you can see as I said you can change the battery icon and clock position and everything you can choose and also navigation bar so if you want on screen navigation bar you can do that too as you can see here the on screen navigation bar is turned on right now and you can go back as you can see it's working if your device has faulty soft buttons like the home buttons or uh, back buttons are not working in that case this will be this will be a quite handy feature but anyway so there is nothing crazy about it you can do that 
if you have like root functionality you can do that anyway it doesn't matter and there is nothing much with the customization there is actually whatever you need is almost there so there is nothing much going to the battery section so as you can see here the battery of my phone it's not really good but after using few days I find out that the battery is doing pretty well in this ROM so you don't really need to worry about that and going with the display section we have brightness level section so auto brightness is working perfectly fine now I have turned off auto brightness and night light is there and adaptive brightness as I said auto brightness is there and going with other things we have a screen and ambient display so always on display is working on this ROM I turned it off actually because it use a lot of battery so as you can see here it looks pretty good too so if you want that feature it's there going back we have few other things so if you want black UI dot us new and that's there so if you have like amulet pure dark UI you can you go with the black UI and also you can choose scent color and also keyword style you can choose whatever you like so a lot of things going on in display section going to the sound section sounds working perfectly fine I haven't found any issue with sound and anything like that um, basically all the basic things are working perfectly fine going with the storage as you can see here almost 11 GB is available after installing the ROM quite good now going to the security section here we have few issues so fingerprint scanner does work but it is not really that good S5 actually doesn't have a really good fingerprint scanner so as you can see it's working even you know don't really need to press the home button it will, if you swipe it work but most of the time it cannot recognize as you can see here now it cannot recognize you have to do it pretty slow then it will recognize otherwise it cannot so that's the issue is there and although I don't really use fingerprint on this device because it's pretty bad but anyway the issue is there there is no face scanner for this device so face unlocking is like not working and accessibility section we don't have anything much here it's all very similar to what we get with other ROMs and you can remove the animation if you want a little bit faster experience and the system section we don't have much going on here if, if you go to gesture section there is no uh, gesture like as I said on screen gesture the gesture here is swipe on home button it doesn't work actually I did try but it it doesn't work so that is also one bug but it doesn't matter going with the setting there is nothing much everything I had already explained whatever it's necessary things and the notification panel as you can see here you can choose or you can edit whatever you want going with the application part so as you can see there is not a lot of things going on I did install gapps here so basically I install gapps pico most of the time I don't use anything else because gapps pico only comes with necessary applications and play store other than that it will not come with anything else so after that if I need anything else I just download so in that case I have already logged into my account and play store is working as you can see here whatever you want you can download everything works perfectly fine here now coming to the problem the issue which I had on my Android 11 based ROM and other few ROMs I don't really know why I'm having this issue as you can see here there was a problem with the server I don't really know why is this issue is like coming to the ROMs I have tried to fix this issue but I could not able to find any solution for that but if you go to YouTube music you see that the, these two apps actually pretty similar apps so YouTube music is working but YouTube is not working I, I'm not getting it actually so if I want to play any song as you can see here it does work so YouTube like uh, YouTube music is working but YouTube is not working but it doesn't matter for me actually I don't really use YouTube in this YouTube I need, basically I use alternative to is I use new pipe which is great alternative to YouTube player basically you will not get any kind of 
ads and also you will get like uh, you can download videos directly and also you can download audios directly and that's quite good actually but don't watch my videos on new pipe you got it so those things are there the issues are there and we do have equalizer section dot wallpapers and music those necessary application are there and also we got a snapdragon camera which does work but i don't really like the application it is very cluttery but it does work perfectly fine no issue with that rather than that everything seems to be working fine i haven't faced any major issue with this rom basically um, it's pretty good rom for samsung galaxy s5 and yeah you have like few bugs here and there but not really major bugs so i don't think it will be a big deal but anyway if anyone wants to flash this rom i will put the rom link in the description below and also gf's link if you really want to flash so that's all about it i try to explain everything like bugs and everything try to find everything so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time Thank you.